Hello and welcome to the No Easy Way Out podcast. My name is Tony Nash and we are coming to you as always from the armory in beautiful downtown Owasso, Michigan, home to my company, AZ Business Solutions, where we help grow your brand from A to Z. Now, in today's episode, we're going to do something a little bit different as I've been getting questions from a lot of entrepreneurs and managers about this idea of developing employees. It seems that a lot of people I talk to and people that have sent questions in are having a difficult time getting the most from their employees. Now, we've discussed this a little bit before on the podcast about motivation. I encourage you to watch the episode on how to motivate your employees. Um, but uh, this today, we're not going to really talk about motivating your employees. We're going to talk about the stages of development that every employee goes through. Whether you have good employees, whether you have bad employees, whether you have employees that are kind of at that mediocre level and you know you could get more out of them, but maybe you're not, uh, there is these five stages that I've come up with over my years of managing hotels uh, that I call the five stages of development. Now, as I've mentioned on the podcast before, I used to uh, manage hotels for a living. I did that for about 10 years of my life, and I managed hotels in upstate New York and here in mid-Michigan. And at one point, my hotel in New York was the number one comfort inn in New York State. And the thing that I think I was the most proud of is that our staff uh, was ranked in the top 30 of all comfort inns nationwide. Now, this was a ranking that was done by our guests. This wasn't done by Choice Hotels. This wasn't done by TripAdvisor. This was a ranking that was provided by our guests as they would leave surveys. Uh, Our staff uh, was ranked in the top 30. And this was because... I really took the time to not only find good people, but also to develop them and bring them along and get them to the point that I wanted them to be at. And so that was done in a lot of different ways, creating job descriptions, setting clear expectations and different things. And we're going to talk about that here in a minute. But um, I think one thing that I kind of learned early on is that every employee kind of goes through these stages uh, when they're coming on board and even when they're searching for a job. They go through these stages that I call the five stages of development. So we're going to go over those today. The first stage is what I call the forming stage. Now this happens from the very moment they see your ad on Indeed or on Facebook or whatever you're using to put uh, your help wanted ads out there. Maybe it's on your sign out front. When they see that ad, they're already forming opinions about you and your company. Uh, and then from there, if they're interested, they might go onto your website, they might go onto your social media pages, they might do some research online, and hopefully the information they find about you online is good so that you look like an attractive place to work. But regardless of that fact, they are forming their opinions about you. And then whenever you call them to ask them to come in for an interview, forming more opinions. And then when they show up and they meet you or they meet your manager, they see your place. Now they're really forming their opinions and they're trying to figure out what kind of place is this going to be? What kind of environment is this going to be? Will I like working here? Do the other employees seem to like working here? Um, And so they're forming their opinions. And then if you hire them, man, on day one, that's so important because then they're really starting to form some opinions. Uh, When I was a general manager, it was always my um, intention and, and philosophy really to spend the first day or at least several hours on the first day with every employee. I didn't hand them off to a trainer, even though I had some really good trainers. I didn't hand them off to an assistant manager, even though I had some really good assistant managers. I determined to spend time with them on that first day because I wanted to introduce them to the kind of culture that I was trying to create. I wanted to uh, help them form those opinions and I wanted those opinions to be good opinions. And I knew that no one could quite articulate it the way that I could. And so it was important for me that that brand new in person kind of knew what to expect from me and my company. And so uh, a lot of times when you put them with uh, a manager or a trainer, even though those are good, you're, they're going to hear things that maybe you don't want them to hear on their first day or first couple of days. They're going to hear kind of maybe some complaints or they're going to hear kind of some Uh, different philosophies that maybe they've picked over uh, up up over time that a new employee doesn't need to hear until they really get inundated into the culture. And so make sure you help those new employees form the right opinions because uh, inevitably after a couple of days, some people it takes a couple of weeks, they move into stage two, which is I call the storming phase. Now, this is when they are testing their limits. This is when they're going to see what they can get away with. This is when they're going to show up a few minutes late and see if anybody says anything. 
This is when they're going to come to work without a uniform on or without a name tag on and see if that's even something that anybody cares about. This is when they're going to uh, maybe come back from their lunch break a little le- late, th- later than they should. or uh, You know the things that employees do. Uh, maybe they're going to get on their cell phone and text or check their Facebook and see if anybody notices it. Every employee, even your good ones, want to kind of know what can I get away with at work? What kind of environment is this going to be? Is it really strict? Is it really laid back? And you have to determine the type of environment. You have to determine if name tags are important or if uniforms are important or punctuality or cell phone use. That's for you to decide. But whatever your philosophy is, whatever your way of doing business is, you need to make sure you let those new employees know that right in the beginning as they're forming those opinions and they're testing their limits. And so once an employee has started to form the opinions, then they start to test the limits. They're storming. They're kind of trying to see what they can get away with. Then they get to phase three. And this phase is so important because this is what I call the norming phase. This is when the employee has determined what is normal about you and your company. Now, we want them to know what's normal. We want them to to settle into the norm. But here's the problem. If their normal doesn't match your normal, then you have a problem. If they've determined what's normal at your company uh, is what it is, but it's not what you want it to be, then what you're going to have is employees, good or bad, doing all of these things that you don't necessarily want them to do, and they don't even realize they're doing anything wrong. They think they're doing what's normal. They think they're doing the norm. And so it's so important that you make sure that their normal matches your normal. It's so important that you get them to this normal phase quickly. This shouldn't take months. This period should really take maybe a week to two weeks to really get them to where they understand what is normal at your place of business. Again, you have to determine what that is. I'm not here to tell you what your philosophy of doing business is or how you should do business. What I'm trying to tell you is that every employee that you hire is going to get to a phase where they've determined what's normal. And the important part of you, the important part for you in that whole process is for you to help them determine this is the normal at AZ Business Solutions or whatever your company might be. And so once they've gotten through that norming phase and when you've got an employee to the point where their normal matches your normal, you're in a good spot. As long as you have a good employee, their normal matches your normal, then and only then can you get them to stage four, which is where we want all of our employees, and that is the performing stage. This is where they're performing at a high level. This is where they're adding money to the bottom line. This is where they're adding value to their company. This is where they have people coming in just to see them. This is where they're taking your business to another level. And uh, really, every employee that's been at your company for more than a couple of weeks should be performing. And one of the best ways, the greatest ways to frustrate your good performing employees is to keep poor performing employees on the payroll. Now, obviously, you've got to give them time to get there. But if they've been there for weeks and months and they're still not performing, you have to let them go or you have to re-implement some new training, something because your good employees will leave you because those bad employees who are not performing at the same level as them are staying on board and it causes frustration. And so really the idea is to get every single employee to the performing stage. We want our employees to perform. We want them to make our business look good. We want them to treat our customers right. We want them to provide excellent products. And so this is where you got to get them. But the problem is so many people get lost right in stage one. They don't help them form the right opinions. They never address and set boundaries during that storming phase. And so what happens is if you look at your employees, you're going to find that many of your employees, a definition of normal does not match your normal. And this is why you're not getting the results that you want to get from those employees. And then the last phase really is what I call the transforming stage. And this isn't the stage that every single employee gets to. This is going to be your crew leaders, your crew trainers, your managers, your shift managers. These are going to be people that uh, are really next level, that not only have they got it, but they're now able to develop other employees. They're able to help other people win. And there's a verse in the Bible that I really like uh, where the Apostle Paul says to commit thou to faithful men that they might be able to teach others also. And so I've always tried to make it the philosophy that I'm going to commit to my really high performing employees 
and hopefully they'll be able to develop other high performing employees. Listen, if you're a manager uh, of people and you're not duplicating yourself, if you're not getting other people to do what you do, to do the things that made you special or set you apart, then you're really not a manager. Uh, Let's say you're the front of the house manager of a restaurant and you're the best there is at serving tables and you're the best there is at bussing tables and you're the best there is at dealing with guest complaints and, and, and greeting a customer. You should be the best at those things if you're a manager. But if you're not getting your employees to be equally as good at those things, then you're really not managing. You're really just an overpaid server, overpaid buster, overpaid greeter. And I hate to put it in those terms, but it's true. And so as a manager, you need to evaluate your employees. Take them down these five stages. What stage are your employees at? Maybe you got to go all the way back to the forming stage and really determine what the culture you're going to create is and help them form the right opinions and get rid of all those things that they would kind of storm and and, uh, test the limits and help them set the right boundaries for them. Uh, And then get them to that normal phase so that they can perform. And so I hope this helped you out today. Just a quick little podcast to kind of help you understand if you're in this position and you have employees and you're just not getting what you want, run them through this this lens of forming, storming, uh, norming, um, transforming, and performing. Run them through these five stages and see where they're at and help get them to the place you want them to be. Thank you for joining us on today's podcast. As my mother always said, you can't and never could until you tried. So go out there and try something great, my friend, and don't take the easy way out. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, if you like what you saw today, please like and subscribe for more content.